Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to compute for the atomic mass. So, paano ba mag-compute ng atomic mass? Ito po yung quick and easy steps na gagawin natin for today in computing atomic mass. But before we we'll start, video hit it. Okay, so ano ba yung atomic mass? As for definition, atomic mass is the weighted average mass of the atom in a naturally occurring sample of the element. It's usually in atomic mass unit. It is also the weighted average of the masses of the isotopes of an element. So ano ba yung isotopes? So isotopes are actually, these are variants of a particular chemical element which differ in neutron number and consequently nucleon number. Okay, so anong ibig sabihin nun? Ang isotopes na pala, ito ay, they, have, they are the same element, okay? but the atom, okay, yung atom ng element na yun, may mga different neutron numbers. Di ba, alam naman natin na ang element is, uh, marami po, hindi yan isang atom lang meron. Maraming atom na, na nasa isang element. So, ang isotopes pala, for example, ang isang element like oxygen, uh, oxygen, so meron siyang iba't ibang uh, atoms na meron iba't ibang number of neutrons. Okay, so the same number yung uh, Protons, the same number yung electrons, pero naiiba yung number of neutrons. Yun yung tawag natin na isotopes. So, naturally occurring yun sila, hindi created. So, to calculate the atomic mass, you should know the relative abundance of the so-called isotopes. So, para malaman natin kung ano yung atomic mass ng isang element, dapat alam natin ilang isotopes ba meron ang element na yun. So, tatlo ba, dalawa, apat. So we have to know what are the different isotopes, the natural occurring isotopes of that particular element. So there you have it. Alam na natin kung ano yung isotopes. Let's say, ang atom na pareho siyang ele uh, element, parehong uh, type of molecule or type of element, pero magkaiba yung uh, number of neutrons kada atom natin. Okay? So yun yung isotopes na ikanga. So let me show you here the example I have here isotopes of oxygen. Okay. So, first isotope of oxygen. So, meron tayong dito. Uh, we know that based on the periodic table, oxygen has an atomic number of 8. So, and we know that yung number of proton is equal to the atomic number. So, therefore, the number of proton of oxygen is also 8. And, doon sa table of elements natin, karamihan nakikita natin yung atomic mass ni oxygen ay 16. Okay, so meaning to say, ang number of neutrons nyun ay 8. Kasi the atomic mass is actually concentrated doon sa nucleus natin. Okay, so yung protons at saka yung neutrons natin. So dito, makikita natin that we have electrons on its orbit. Sabi natin, the first energy level Okay, pwede siya maka-accommodate ng two electrons. The second energy level, it can accommodate as much as eight electrons. But since meron na tayong six, uh, two electrons sa first energy level, anim na lang po dito sa second energy level natin. So total pa rin po ay eight electrons. Kasi the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons din. So yun. So these isotopes, according to our example here, Naturally occurring ito and the percent abundance of this type of isotope is 99.76%. So marami po, halos lahat ng uh, oxygen atom in uh, the environment ay eh, ganito. Kaya mataas yung percent abundance niya. And with this, this type of isotopes, meron daw 15.9949 atomic mass unit. So, may percent abundance tayo which is 99.76 at meron din tayong uh, weight. Okay? Or I'm, mass, I mean, not the weight. It's the mass for this type of isotope. So, let's check another 
isotope of, of oxygen. So ito, another isotope of oxygen. The same number of protons, which is 8, but yung number of neutrons natin ay 9 instead of 8. So sabi nga natin, ang isotopes, pareho yung number of neutrons, hindi nagbabago of uh, that atom, pareho din yung number of electrons. Ang nagbabago lang ay ang number of neutrons. Okay. So, same yung number of electrons natin. Two, electron, uh, two electrons on the first orbit and six electrons na nasa second energy level natin. With this type of isotope, meron about 0.04% abundance. So, masyadong mababa compared sa first isotope natin. And ang mass nito ay 16.9991 atomic mass unit. So, yan yung second isotope natin. The third isotope of oxygen, still the same number of protons which is 8, pero ang number of neutrons in this third isotope is 10. So, meron tayong 10 neutrons and the same pa rin yung number of electrons natin which is 8. So, with this type of isotopes, okay, meron tayong percent abundance of uh, 0.20% at ang mass unit nito ay 17.9991 atomic mass unit. Okay, so ito yung isotopes of oxygen. So alam naman natin anong definition ng isotope. So clear na sana, clear na sa inyo kung ano yung isotopes. Pareho yung number of protons and electrons, the same siyang element, okay? Pero magkaiba lang yung number of neutrons sa atom na iyon. Okay? So there. So let's try and calculate some uh, atomic mass of an element. So meron tayong formula dito. Before we'll start solving a problem, okay, so meron tayong formula for atomic mass or some, uh, sometimes we call it the average atomic mass or average weighted mass. So kung makikita nyo dito, percent subscript 1, meaning to say ito yung percent abundance of uh, isotope 1 tapos ito naman yung mass of isotope 1 you add it, okay, so ito multiplication, no? imumultiply natin ito dito, percent abundance at saka yung mass, then after that we have to add okay, ito sa product ng second isotope natin, so percent abundance of second isotopes times the mass of the second isotopes so whatever the answer here you have to Add it with the answer here. So, yan. Multiplication to ito, ito dito. Okay? I-multiply natin yan. So, until such, kung ilan yung isotopes meron, i-multiply din natin yung percent abundance and the mass. So, i-add din natin yung lahat. So, yun yung ano natin. Yung formula na gagamitin natin. So, kung apat yung isotopes ng element na yun, so ito, percent abundance up to the fourth. Okay, so hanggang pang-apat. So this is the formula for atomic mass. Yan yung pong gagamitin natin sa pag-solve natin sa mga exercise natin. So meron tayong exercise. Okay, so let's do the calculation. So first, ano exercise natin? Ano yung problem natin? The problem states that boron has two naturally occurring isotopes. In a sample, 20% of atom B10, which is an isotope of boron with 5 neutrons and a mass of 10 atomic mass unit. The other 80% of the atom are B11, which is an isotope of boron with 6 neutrons and a mass of 11 atomic mass unit. What is the atomic mass of boron? So this is the required. Okay, so we need to, we need to find what is the atomic mass of boron. So what is given in the problem? The given problem, yung element natin is boron, wherein the symbol for boron is letter B. So, according to this problem, meron daw dalawang naturally occurring isotopes. Okay? So, ito yung isotopes ni Boron, B10 at saka si B11. So, sa first given, ang percent abundance of isotope B10, ito yung percent abundance natin is 20%. Ano naman yung mass ng first isotope? It's 10 atomic mass unit. Yung first, ano natin? first isotope. Yan yung information about the first isotope. Yung second isotope natin na B11, okay, sabi dito sa problem na ito, is 80% yung percent abundance ng B11. 
ang isotope na B11, 80% ang ab uh, percent abundance. At ito ay mayroong 11, yung mass niya ay 11 atomic mass unit. So let's try and solve this problem. Uh, the, the question is, what is the atomic mass of boron? Okay, so let's uh, calculate. So yung given natin, meron tayong boron have two isotopes. So ilist down natin yung first isotopes at saka yung second isotopes na information, the percent abundance at saka yung mass. So isotope mass, we have 20%. At saka yung mass is, uh, isotope 1, yung abundance is 20%. The mass is 10, atomic mass unit. Isotope 2 is 80%. At saka yung mass is 11. Kung titignan nyo, ma, hindi naman ito 20. Okay, point 2 lang. Bakit? Because we cannot multiply if this is with percent symbol. Hindi natin mamultiply 20 times 10. Okay, so dapat walang symbol si percentage. So how do you convert percent to decimal number? Okay, so or whole number? How do you how do you compute it? How do you convert it? So simple lang. For example, yung twenty five percent constant po, idi divide nyo by one hundred. Okay, so pero mas mabilis pa po kung ito po yung gagawin natin to convert percentage to decimal units. Paano? Diba dito yung point niya kung 20%? Kasi 20. So, i-move lang natin ng two places to the left. Ito, one. Two decimal places to the left, two. Okay? So, your 20 now is 0.20. Okay? Yung 20% natin is 0.20 na. Kung i-convert natin yung two decimal units. So, same thing with 80%. I-move natin yung point natin two decimal places to the left. Okay, so your 80% becomes 0.80. So let's check yung formula natin is percent mass, okay, I mean percent abundance of the first isotope times the mass of the first isotope. You add it with the percent abundance of the second isotopes times the mass of the second isotope. So, straightforward lang yung, yung uh, calculation natin, no? yung equation natin. Lahat naman ng information ay given. So, all we have to do is we have to substitute these values, eto mga values natin dito, yung given values, dito sa formula natin. So, if you're going to substitute this, so magiging ano natin equation ngayon, atomic mass is equals to 0.20 times 10 plus 0.80 times 11. Okay? So, yan yung equation natin ngayon. Okay? If we are going to put the values, okay, of the given values. So, ano yung, mag, ano na yung result natin? So, if we are go, going to do the mathematics, isasolve natin ito, ang makukuha natin po ay 10.8 atomic mass unit. Okay? So, hindi na po ako magpapakita kung how to multiply numbers. But if you want, you want to learn how to multiply numbers, we will do a video for you in multiplying numbers. Okay? So, just feel free to comment below at gagawin po natin yung mga request niyo or kung may comments kayo for our improvements, please do comment below and don't forget also to subscribe. Okay? So, yan. Madali lang ang pagsob, di ba? So, let's try another problem. Okay, ito yung ano natin, second problem natin, exercise natin. Neon has three natural occurring isotopes. So in a sample of neon, 90.92% of the atom are neon-20, which is an isotope of neon with 10 neutrons and a mass of 19.99 atomic mass units. So another 0.3% of the atom are neon-21 which is an isotope of neon with 11 neutrons and a mass of 20.99 atomic mass unit. The final 8.85% of the atom are neon-22, which is an isotope of neon with 12 neutrons and a mass of 21.99 atomic mass unit. The question is, what is the atomic mass of neon? Okay. So kung titignan nyo yung problem natin dito, sabi dito sa information na given, neon has three natural occurring isotopes. 
So, tatlo yung isotopes natin na i-solve natin. The first given, the first isotope, meron siyang 90.92%. Ito yung neon 20 natin. And the mass of this isotope is 19.99 atomic mass unit. That is the first given. That is our first isotope. So, yun yung una natin na information. The second isotope, meron daw 0.3% lamang okay, ng, ni, ng atom na N21 at ang mass nito ay 20.99 atomic mass unit. So that is information for our second isotope. The third isotope, okay, meron siyang 8.85%. Ito yung uh, atom na neon 22 at ang atomic mass nito ay 21.99. So, meron tayong information sa lahat ng isotopes. So, meron tayong tatlong isotopes of neon na may mga percent abundance given at saka yung mass nitong isotope. So, kung titignan nyo, ito, 8.85% plus 0.3% plus, uh, plus 90.92%, this is equivalent to 100%. Okay, so because we're talking about one uh, one element on neon, which has three isotopes. So, dapat 100% po yan. Okay? So, to make it as a whole, para buo siya. So, let's try and solve this particular exercise. So, solution natin. Ito yung given natin. Neon has three isotopes. Ano-ano yung mga information? So, first isotope natin. Percent abundance is 90.92%. Again, here, if you have noticed, Hindi na 90 ay nailagay natin. Tinanggal natin yung percentage sign and convert natin ang percentage into decimal number or unit. So, by moving it two places to the left. Okay. The first isotope has a mass of 19.99. The second isotope, yung percent abun abundance ng first isotope is actually 3%. So, converting it to decimal, you move again two places to the left. Okay, there you have it. So, it's now 0 0.003 and the mass is 20.99. The third isotope, the percent abundance of third isotope is actually 8.85%. So, again, we convert it to decimal point by moving it to decimal places to the left. Okay, so let's put these values in our formula. So, we have three isotopes. So, this is now our formula because we have three isotopes of neon. So, then we have all the values. We have the percent abundance and the mass of all three isotopes. So, we have to put the values in our formula. So, this one. Okay. So, 0 0.1992 times 19.99 plus 0 0.003 times 20.99 plus okay, 0 0.0885 times 21.99. So, yun yung ano natin na mga, may mga ano na values na yung sa mga formulas natin. So, you have to multiply this with this, the percent uh, abundance times the mass. You also multiply this for the second isotope. And you have to multiply this for your third isotope. So, if you're going to multiply this, whatever the product, ano yung magiging answer natin dito, iaat natin sa answer dito at saka dito ang makukuha natin ang atomic mass natin ay 20.70 atomic mass unit. So that is the atomic mass of neon which happened to have three isotopes. Okay? So uh, hope may natutunan tayo today in this video in finding the atomic mass okay, of an element. So again, kung may comment kayo, feel free to comment. Please don't forget to like and share our video. So thank you so much.